I'll show you how to remove links from a tennis bracelet. If you're trying to shorten it or if you're replacing it for another reason, I'll show you how these come apart. In this particular case, we have a stone missing, which we're not gonna be able to replace. So instead, we'll just remove the links. We've got enough length that this is not gonna be a problem. In fact, it'll actually be helpful to fit the wrist size. On a bracelet like this, there's no soldering involved. We just need to pull up the tabs, kind of open them up a little With bit. a very small screwdriver, we can get in and start applying a little bit of pressure. In every direction that we can, we'll apply pressure until we can spread these out just a little bit. You can see that we've pulled these tabs apart quite a bit, so we'll just work it until it naturally pops out. We don't want to break anything. Work it back and forth until it pops apart, and here we go. Here's a close-up of those tabs that we just pulled apart. Here we can see both ends how it would assemble together. Because there's two different types of stones, we're gonna to have to remove two links to be able to go from light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. We'll remove these two links right here in the same fashion. We'll just have to pry everything apart a little. We'll pry in every direction, just to make sure that we don't bend it too far or scratch anything. We're able to remove the two links. With the two links removed, you can see that it's light, dark, light, dark. We'll work the two pieces back together very carefully. We don't want to break any of the tabs off. Now everything's back together very lightly, so we'll need to press it all back together. To press everything back together, we have some smooth pliers to make sure it doesn't leave any marks. We'll take it in all directions to make sure that we can pull it down nice and even. Now we've got everything nice and secure and tight.